and we have many other mission stations in Hong Kong uh, and, and in several other countries around the world in Singapore so we need you to pray for these mission stations we have mission stations in Italy in Canada and even in the US but we need your support and we need your prayers and we need to work as a team to fulfill the command of Jesus Christ to go and make disciples of all nations. If you have your Bible in Psalm 67, it says, May God be gracious to us and bless us and make His face shine on us so that your ways may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. May the people praise you, God. May all the people praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you rule the people with equity and guide the nations of the earth. May the people praise you, O God. May all the people praise you. The land yields its harvest. God, our God, blesses us. May God bless us still, so that all the ends of the earth will fear Him. The title of our message this morning is this. Blessed. Simple word. We often greet each other. God bless you. Right? Sometimes we use the word bless so casually, not really fully comprehending what does it mean to be blessed by God and what is the purpose of us being blessed by God. Church, if I was to ask you today, has God blessed you? Maybe some of you don't feel like you're blessed this morning. Has God blessed you? Church. <laughs> and you see, if you were to ask anybody, would you want God to bless you? I believe nobody will ever refuse that, right? Nobody will ever refuse the blessing of God. But here in this psalm, I, I love this psalm. I basically meditated on this, meditated this psalm because this psalm is basically a missional psalm. It not only tells us that God indeed seeks and desires to bless His people, but God also has a def definite purpose for why He blesses His people. We all want God to bless us and we would never refuse God's blessing. We desire His blessing, we want Him to bless us, but we need to know several things about God's blessing in our lives. Do you want God to bless you this morning? Amen. So I want to bring to you today six things about God's blessing. Six things that you need to know about God's blessing in your life. Number one, we should seek God's blessing, right? We should seek God's blessing. That's why you are here because you have come to seek God's blessing this morning. Amen. We want God to bless us. I don't know about you, but I want to feel blessed in my life by the Lord. Now, I'm not talking about just material blessings because sometimes we tell people we see him having a lot of money and a nice house and a nice car and we say, well, wow, God has blessed you. But the truth of the matter is God's blessing has to do with, has to do with much more than just material prosperity. Are you with me here? Because people may have a lot of money and a nice stuff but they may not be blessed by God because to be blessed by God is far more than just having material things in your life as we will come to understand today and so he says here may God be gracious to us and bless us and in the Bible uh, the word you know to, to be blessed by God would mean to be in a right standing with him right it's more than just having a lot of things, it's to be in a right standing with God. Because you may have a lot of stuff in the world, but yet not be in a right standing with God. Are you with me here? You see, even Jacob, 
His very name means trickster because he lived, he would live his life on his own streetwise terms, even tricking his brother for his blessing. But even though he tricked his brother into his blessing, he went, ran away to his uncle Laban, and he even tricked his uncle to his wealth and became very wealthy on his streetwise schemes. And yet after he had acquired all this wealth and he was going back into, into his land that he came from and he was going to face his brother, yet in, in his inner being, he sensed that he still lacked something. There was something missing in his life. And although he tried to live life on his own terms, he had never come into that place where he could be, feel that wellness inside of him in his soul and feel right with God. And so one night we see that even God himself, Jacob had an encounter with God and in his realization of being in a right standing with God, there was a wrestling match that took place. Are you listening to this? And even though Jacob had tricked his brother into his blessing from his father, his earthly father, but yet he knew that he could not trick God into giving him a blessing. Are you with me here? So Jacob held on to God with all his might and wrestled all night and he, 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 he finally said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. You see, Jacob had, had riches. He had become rich with his uncle Laban. He came out, out, out from his uncle Laban with great riches, with, uh, it says with a lot of servants and, and he had money. But in his inner being, he somehow did not feel he was blessed. You see, there's a song we sing, It is well with my soul. You see, Sister Kate just shared her wonderful testimony that even in that hour of, of having nothing, being sick in her body, yet she felt that God was near her. Amen? You see, even though you may not have much money in your pocket and you may not uh, have all the prosperity going on in your life materially, but if God, if you have a right standing with God, brethren, you are blessed. Amen? Are you with me here? Blessing is not about how much you've got in your pocket. Blessing is about being right with God. Amen? Are you, are you convinced of that? So next time you, you see someone who has everything going well for them on earth, think twice before you say, God has blessed you because they may not feel really blessed within themselves. Because God's blessing has, to, ha, is, has much more to do than, with, than about material stuff. It's about being right with Him. It's about being in a right standing with Him. And having that sense of our inner being, of being right with God and being well with God in our spirit, in our soul. Amen? And when you are there in a right standing with God, you know it. In fact, in that day, God changed right after the wrestling match and where Jacob held on to God and said, God, all I want, I have stuff, but I don't feel blessed. I need you to bless me. I got all these sheep and I got all these cattle and I have all these servants and I have all this stuff but Lord I need you to bless me. I need to be right with you. And you see that day after Jacob gave up his street smart ways and he said God I've got all this stuff and I've earned it my way. Just like the song. But you see I'm empty. I, I need your blessing. And that day God changed his name. He took away his name Jacob and says, from now onwards you'll be called Israel. You'll be my prince. And the name, he took away the name Trickster or Crook and gave him a new name. You are now a prince because I have blessed you. Amen. So you see, we should seek after the blessing of God. In our lives, we should seek after being in right standing to be well with God in our innermost being. 
and the second thing is about this is that we must diligently seek it seek God himself as the supreme blessing we don't seek what is in his hand we seek him himself are you with me here he didn't come into this place because we want to see God what do you have to give me today Lord oh, I want some money from you Lord I need that that you know that computer Lord I need that car Lord I need these things we didn't come here because we want God to give us some material stuff we came here because we want more than anything we want God in our life amen Is that why you came here this morning? It's because more than anything, you want God in your life. No material thing can satisfy. And just like David says, there is nothing in this earth I desire beside God himself must be the supreme blessing in your life. You are blessed when you are standing right with God. Number two, God's blessing is rooted in His grace. So He says, may God be gracious to us. And so we understand that God's blessing is not about what you have done. God's blessing is not about your family heritage or your family lineage or God's blessing is not, not about your education or how much you've given to the poor or all the good things you've done in your life. God's blessing does not have to do with what you've done. God's blessing, blessing is based on His grace. Amen. It's simply because He is a good God. He is a generous God. He is a gracious God. He simply blesses you based on who He is, not on who you are. Amen, church. Are you listening to this? Don't go to God and say, God, I've done all these things. Would you bless me? God, I've given to the poor. Why don't you bless me? God, I've done these things. I've worked for many hours in the church. Why don't you bless me, Lord? I've been a good boy. I've been a good girl. I've been a good mom. I've been a good father. Why don't you bless me, Lord? No, you, you know what? If you're trying to base it on what you've done, you will never receive the blessing of God because the blessing of God is based on His grace and not what we have done. Amen. Would you give him praise? Give him the very best of praise if you're going to give God praise. Hallelujah. God's blessing is based on his grace. Because he's good. If, if we were to base it on our works, then you know what? The Bible says all our works but filthy rags before him. We don't deserve anything good from God. Because what we deserve is hell. We deserve judgment. We are sinners. Fallen short of the glory of God. All have sinned, it says in Romans 3, and fallen short of the glory of God. And, just, and are justified freely by His grace, it says. And our God is a God of grace. Our God is a God of graciousness. And today, if you come here and wondering, will God bless me? But I've not done much good. I've not, I've not done all of the things that he wanted me to do. I can't be like that brother or this brother. I've not been like that brother who's, who served for many years in the church. Will God bless me? And I want to tell you, based if you come and appeal to his grace, yes and amen, he will bless you. Amen. If you just say, God, I'm not worthy. But Lord, I know you're a gracious God. And I know today can be different for you. Because God is a good God. Do you believe that, church? Amen. There is hope for you with God's grace. Amen. Would you give Him praise?